and welcome back to the Aldo Cycling YouTube channel. What's also going on to the podcast? Today we're talking about the final week of Giro, despite the fact that it's only five stages long, so that's just the way we've gone to all week's work. We've had a pretty interesting race so far, by interesting I mean it's just been dominated by Egan Bernal, and I think I'll kind of reflect in what we say in the next few minutes. Stage 17, I thought it was 16, but stage 17, um, I believe it ends with just a big old uphill. You'd be correct. It ends up, what's it called, a Sega Diala, which is 11 Ks at like just shy of 10%. I know that stage 16 was on the cut short, that was the Queen stage, but I honestly think that this stage looks harder, <laughs> or looked harder mm. on paper. Just because of the uphill finish, did it give well, you? Well, that is preambled with a. Point point eight k at seven point six percent. Yeah, like it's just it's just hard. Um, honestly, hard. Right, that's too right. Like, that's too repeat. Yeah, like thirty minute efforts. Yeah, especially since what we saw from Zon Klein, like just Bernal is just on a different level. Quite frankly, um, the only person who could be close to him, I realistically is Yates. But Yates got and got dropped the other day, so I think he got dropped. It's just cold as well. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't seem to do too well on the cold. Um, Carfi again just hasn't been like great, but maybe coming into the race in this third week could actually provide a bit of surprise on this stage. And then you of course got Ciccone, Caruso, and weirdly enough, but are they? Mm, sorry. Uh, what is this? Is this twenty seventeen again? Mm. Like, what's going on? Mm. Um, I think realistically, you see between them, Evan has gone. A- absolutely spat. Twenty minutes now. Fully blown. Apparently, he's not DN- DNFing though. He wants to finish the race. He especially wants to target the last TT, which is good to hear. He's not just going to pack in. Zhao has now stepped up to their leader role, which seems really weird. It's gone. It went to, from equal to. Even a pole, and now back to Zhao. And it's just like, okay, so we've gone through every iteration now. I just don't see how Bernard's going to lose us. Do you mean the race or just this stage? Both. Just, just, just both, really. Um, my only. His biggest competitors, freaking Damiano Caruso. That's, yeah, that's, my, that's the point. Who has never done this well in a Grand Tour ever. So, yeah. what the hell's going on there? Either everyone else in this race is just dog shit, or, or he's really good. amazing. It's just for, especially since he's got Danny Martinez, who just seems to always be there in the last. Mm. That's really been helpful, but he's just got too many watts, for really sure. And he's riding a really tactically good race as well. Yeah, that race, that stage where he sat on Simon Yates. Yeah, just and then it, then Simon Yates is like, oh, da, 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 da. oh, he counted me. Yeah. He's counted. Oh, I can't go with him because Bernal's yeah. too strong. He is too strong. That was on Zonkline, actually. Wasn't it? Yeah. it was on Zonkline. Oh, that's that freaking whatever his name is. Fortunato, whatever his bloody name Lorenzo. Is. Yeah, Lorenzo. Ah, I still can't believe that. Still can't believe that. Anyway, should we talk about this stage? Which stage? So, bloody 17 what's going on about this 18 um, who's winning it uh, I don't want to be boring and say it's Bernal but, so just, but you're going to be so yeah I'll just say Bernal there we go. what are you thinking are you going to well I don't think Bernal needs any time yeah so, but I think other people try to take time and it's just going to roll them anyway you don't need any time so it's just who's going to be you know, who's going to look to control it and bring it back yeah. He's got the facilities for that. Um, EF for one second over Caruso. Yeah. So, yeah, but the EF need to bring the break back and waste men? No. No, because they might as well just let the break win again. No, so, I think, so, what I think <laughs> is, I think Remco is going to go in the break. Oh my god. And Remco is going to win. Honestly, yeah, a break number 15 making it. <laughs> yep. Well, this is ridiculous. The fact that more breakaways have won is just a testament to lazy teams. It's just 
it's just the uh, lazy control of breakaways. Yeah. That's all I put it to. It's, it's just people don't have the motivation to bring it back. There's not enough teams. There's not like De Koenig. If, De, if De Koenig were in the race fighting for a podium, then it might be a bit different because there might be two teams. Mm. But it's just like, the fact of the matter is, just nothing's going on. I think stage 18, so it's just flat until like the last 30 k's or so, and there's got like four hills in there. Ooh, yeah. Um, to be honest with you, I think this could be a break. It's number, you know, 23. Break number 23 going. Because the only person who I can see realistically winning that stage is Sargon. Like, out of like punchers who are here. You know, but I just don't think that Gaviria or Viviani will have the gas to get over those, despite the fact that they have looked good. Simon doesn't need the Chikamina points anymore. And does he want a stage? Like, he's already got one. I, I don't know about the spin and breakaway stage. I think it, it could end up being a the front group's going to win. Yeah. It's just, it's going to be full of, it's going to be depleted. Yeah. That's why I see. I imagine it's going to be all the GC guys are there, plus some sprinty, sprinty people. Like, what's it called? Van Drame. Yeah. Chimelais look pretty good as well. Chimelais. Um, yeah, the reason why I said break was 
Because if... Compliments? <laughs> 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 